Well, coming up here on Cincy Lifestyle, do you have an electric toothbrush? Well, you may be using it all wrong. We have a dental hygienist in the studio to tell us how to get your money's worth out of those electric brushes. Welcome back. Hey, did you know that proper dental hygiene doesn't just mean you'll have sparkling teeth, also helps you maintain your overall health. But just like any tool, you need to know how to use it. And the same is true of an electric toothbrush. And to help us understand that, I want to welcome Louise Goodman, retired dental hygienist, full of life and spunk and zest. <laughs> Louise, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Uh, so where do people most commonly go wrong with an electric toothbrush? With an electric toothbrush, the biggest mistake they make, I always tell them, think of it as an electric saw, a power saw. Mm -hmm. When you turn on a power saw, you turn it on, and then you guide it through the piece of wood. Okay. Okay, when you turn on an electric toothbrush, all you have to do is turn it on, and you don't move it anymore. All you do, you. It, you just move it from tooth to tooth mm -hmm. to tooth, but you don't go left and right or up and down or all around because the brush knows where it's supposed to go. Okay. You just guide it from tooth to tooth. Okay, so uh, folks think that the brushes can do all of the work for them. Is that true? Yes, if you let the brushes do the work, but if you push it around, the brush cannot work. And that's a sample of what happens when you don't brush correctly. So, Which because this head is pretty frayed and pretty, pretty ragged looking, so oh, what does this definitely. tell you when you look at it? Well, number one, the person wasn't even removing. Remember, we have plaque on our teeth, mm -hmm. okay? It wasn't even removing the plaque. All she was doing was pushing so hard mm -hmm. and pushing it, but not letting the brush do the brushing. All you have to do with an electric toothbrush is put it on your on your tooth, mm -hmm. one tooth at a time, and it, it will work, count to five seconds, then go on to the next tooth, and the next tooth, and the next tooth, and then you'll be done. What's nice about these brushes is that they have timers on them, Got so it. you know where you're going to be. So, but if you go and you push it, it's not going to work. Just well, like the saw wouldn't be able to cut easily. Sure. What's the difference then between the round head and the more rectangular traditional. or traditional okay. head? The round head is what we use in the dental office like when we clean people's teeth, mm -hmm. okay? That does one tooth at a time, at a time and it goes around in a circle, it oscillates. Okay, mm -hmm. it's a circular movement. So you're gonna do one, one, one. This one is more like a hand toothbrush. It's going to go back and forth, but it goes back and forth, it knows how to do it. You don't have to push it. So you get the back and forth movement on this type. This is a sonic, this is an oscillating, mm -hmm. and this one goes round and round. They're both excellent. It's just a matter of what you prefer. Um, people ask me which is better, hand or or power toothbrushes, and I tell them a hand can be just as good as a power if you do it correctly. This is doing it for you. This is good for people who have arthritis, people who have to brush somebody else, like a handicapped person, and um, it's good if you're not meticulous about doing your wiggle and roll like we've talked about before. Okay, okay. got it. Uh, very briefly, only got a few seconds left, but uh, d d d d d once again, people tend to press too hard with these. Right, if you press too hard with this one, it's gonna shut off, okay? Mm -hmm. It's gonna stop working. Okay. If you press too hard with this one, it will do the same thing. It's just a matter of time. These brush heads have to be re be replaced every four months. Okay. They wear out. You cannot use the same head. You're going to pay a hundred, hundred plus for these brushes. Okay. okay. But you're going to have to pay for replacement heads. Okay. All right, Louise, thank you so much for coming to welcome. be with us. As always, you are a fount of knowledge. <laughs> thank you. Absolutely. <laughs>